Hey folks, Perry Watkins, a set and go trapper. You know, it's come to my attention that a lot of folks, young folks, old folks, don't know how to skin a squirrel. And there's a lot of squirrels around. And um, it's, it's not very hard at all. And what we end up with is guys uh, not teaching their young people how to hunt squirrels uh, because they have a hard time skinning them, getting hair all over them, all that. Listen, if you can get your young people out, moms, dads, grandmas, grandpas, aunts, uncles, whoever, if you can get them out into a squirrel woods where you can teach a young person how to hunt squirrels by sneaking, moving when the wind blows, learning the trees, sneaking, sneaking up on a squirrel that's cutting a hickory nut. It's uh, mid-September, squirrel season just opened here in southern Michigan. They're cutting hickory nuts, and I know where there's three or four hickory nut trees that are together, and there's always some squirrels around it or in it and cutting them. But I know what a hickory nut tree looks like. So if we if we can teach our young people to be good squirrel hunters, sneak, move when the wind blows, know his trees, his or her trees, and then we can show them how to clean them so they're not a big hairy mess, and we can get them in there frying them and eating them because squirrels are awful good to eat. We can, get them in, in, we can get them out from in front of the computer. And maybe it's just for a minute, and maybe it's just for a Saturday morning. But it's a little something different. So I'm going to show you, you know, I learned how to do this, I don't know, 40 years ago. And I've skinned quite a few of them. And I don't make a big mess. And it doesn't take but a few seconds. And, and I'm going to show you how to do that now. I'll just start with this. I, I got four this morning. I had to come back and go to work. I'll just start with this little gray squirrel, and it's pretty. It's an adult one, it's a pretty nice one. First thing I do is take a pair of side cutters and cut off them front feet, just like that. Then I kind of, I kind of get them limbered up a little bit, so I can pull the skin off of him. And then right here, at his vent, is where you make really your only dramatic cut. And I'm going to make that, and then I'm going to walk up to the camera. I make it right across this vent, and uh, my phone's going off, we're just going to let it go off. Make it right across this vent, just like that. Now I'm going to walk up and I'm going to show you where I've made this cut. It's right there, right across that, right across his vent, right at the top of it. Then I just take my side cutters, and I come in, and I pop the rest of that bone. And that's a great big deal. Right now, you can see where I've got that, and there's just a little bit. See those two pieces of uh, tendon? You got to cut those, and those are cut. Per, yeah, those are cut now. Just a little bit more. And if I got to get in there with my knife, that's what I'll do. But here's what you got to know. You got to know you don't want this cut much bigger than that. You got to know that that you don't want to make it down their legs. It will not pull it will not pull off correctly. You don't want it a little, much bigger than that at all. And so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to I'm going to show you just about right there. Now I got a good sharp knife. I just bought it from PCS. I got it for I guess skin and coon because I am the set and go trapper and I'm not the set and go squirrel hunter. But that's about all you want. Most guys will have the tendency they want to do more of it. You don't want to do any more than that right there. You do not want to do any more than that right there. That's where most guys go wrong. So now, all you do is now I'm going to take a second and pan down that camera to my feet. Bear with us here a little bit. Pan it right down to my feet. And uh, so I guess I'm probably down there. I'm stepping right here on that base, and I got a good hold of that squirrel's legs, and I'm pulling right straight up. Now, because I don't have any hair around him, I'm popping those front legs right out, and I'm going to get a hold of this right here. Now, if you have a hard time getting a hold of that right there, my dash on once in the movie, getting a hold of right, right there, use your side cutters to get a hold of it. This one I don't need. I got good a hold of it right here, and I'm just going to give him one of these. Just like that. Now listen, pull that right out, and pull that right out. Now you got your squirrel. Here's what you want to do now. Don't, 
I got four squirrels to clean. Don't start gutting them and all that stuff. Put them right down in some water. Put that whole squirrel before you gut him right down in some water. When you're done with however many squirrels you got to clean, get all your hair out of the way. Take all these tails and whatever and put them in the garbage, whatever it is you're going to do with them. But then you can gut them and everything's nice and clean. I want you to look. How much hair do you see on that squirrel? How much hair do you see on that squirrel? You don't see hardly none at all. Hardly, I mean, you, you have a hard time finding a hair on that squirrel. Most guys say, well, they get hair all over them. Well, look, there's no hair here. Now you'll notice I use a shotgun. It's early season and I use a shotgun on these. Because the guy that lives at that little farm, he doesn't want, he doesn't want to shooting rifles up around his cattle and whatever. But that squirrel doesn't have a lick of hair on him. Not even a lick. And I put him right down in the water. Same thing on a fox squirrel. Same exact thing. Get our young folks out. Teach them how to be squirrel hunters. That'll teach them how to be deer hunters, which will teach them how to be trappers, which will teach them how to be better outdoorsmen. Get our kids outdoors. You know, it truly is a great place to be, and we need more outdoor young people. Uh, that's the biggest thing in, in trapping is to try to get young people involved in squirrel hunting, turtle trapping. We're going to do all that for you. So listen, thanks for watching the Set and Go Trapper. See all of our YouTube videos on www.setandgotrapper.com.